Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review. Uh, it's a DVD that my friend got for Christmas and uh, he's lent it me uh, to watch and uh, give it my thoughts and see what I thought. And it is the uh, latest instalment of Superman and that's called Man of Steel. Now, like I said, I watched it the other night and uh, in it you've got Henry Cav Cavill, Cavill, Amy Adams, Michael Shannon, Kevin Costner, Dan Lane, Lawrence Fishburne and Russell Crowe. Now, my friend, uh, before I watched it, he told me, he said that I should forget everything that happened previously with anything to do with Superman. So this being like uh, films that have been previously made and even Smallville, the TV series. And in all honesty, that's probably a good way of how to look at the film. Don't look at it as though it should follow on from what's happened before. Now, a few years ago, there was a film, another Superman film. That was alright. Uh, However, it wasn't great. Uh, it was almost like a, a sequel to a film that was never made. However, Man of Steel, I think, is the benchmark of where all, from now on, Superman films should go. Uh, so, like I say, who's in it? Henry Cavill. Cavill? I hope that's how you say his name. Uh, I think he was actually Jesus in uh, The Passion of the Christ, which I've never seen. Uh, it's never interested me. However, in Man of Steel, he plays a very good Superman, and he's not that, not too bad of an actor really, he hasn't got too many lines, uh, but when he does say a line, he does it pretty well. Uh, Amy Adams as Lois Lane, she's alright, she's not great. Michael Shannon, uh, he is, uh, uh, he plays the bad guy, uh, I think it's Emperor Zord, he is like the security of uh, Krypton, so he's got a... Um, be like the captain of the ship almost he's got to make sure that Krypton survives and uh, he's the last man to go down he gets sent off in the pyramid uh, the triangle gets sent off him and his uh, little army team really his uh, troops his team really they get sent off and uh, sentenced to prison a lifetime in prison but he does manage to find his way to earth he finds Clark Kent uh, Kal-El uh, Superman he does find it uh, but he doesn't play too bad of a bad guy actually uh, I haven't seen him in too many films he was in Bug uh, which I did a review about and I don't really like that film uh, however he is better in this film uh, so then you got Kevin Costner who's his dad on Earth Mr Kent I can't remember what his dad's name is but Kevin Costner is an alright dad he's the sort of dad who guides his son who says you know this is the path and you know humans will take you like a pinch of salt, you know. Uh, but it's cool to have your dad as Kevin Costner. Uh, Dan Lane, who's his mum on Earth, uh, she's a good mum. Uh, she plays the character well, wife to Kevin Costner. She plays her well. So yeah, they're all right there, supporting lead roles really, just to support your son, you know, who's an alien from another world. Lawrence Fishburne, he's uh, the main guy at the Daily Planet. He's an all right sort of character. Uh, obviously, he takes charge of Lois Lane, Amy Adams. Um, but yeah, it is a, another good supporting actor really. And uh, Russell Crowe, who is Jael, I think that's his uh, Krypton name. Obviously, he's Superman's dad on uh, Krypton. And Russell Crowe is a pretty badass sort of dad really, an alien badass dad. Uh, but really, um, I really enjoyed Man of Steel. I thought the story was pretty good. It tells it from the very beginning, uh, from how Krypton was destroyed and how... Russell Crowe and his wife sent their son Kal-El to Earth and uh, was given to the humans really. So uh, yeah, it tells it from step by step each year what happens and all that, uh, how he becomes the man he is and uh, his choices along the way of how uh, in one situation he's getting a bit bullied and he wants to kick the shit out of this guy uh, but he chooses not to even though humans can be dicks sometimes uh, Superman has got to understand that Humans are dicks, however they are worth saving. Uh, there is the odd twist and turn, there is action, there's massive fight scenes. The film's on for just over two hours, and to be honest, there must be nearly an hour's worth of fighting. I'm not even kidding. Uh, there's like city-destroying, god-alien-like fights, and uh, yeah, Smallville almost gets totaled. I mean, that's not really a, a spoiler, you know. Smallville's in it. It's, it's the place where Clark Kent grew up, so Smallville is in it. However, forget everything of past Superman knowledge that you know. Go in as though it's a whole new thing, really. 
Uh, yeah, Man of Steel is a brand new start to Superman. It irons it all out. However, Man of Steel it is a pretty cool film. There's action. Uh, there's a bit of a love romance sort of connection going on. Henry Cavill, he plays a good Superman. He plays a good Man of Steel character. Everyone else really is a supporting actor. However, he does kick ass. The film is an action-packed film. Can't wait for the sequel, really. This is really enjoyable. Like I say, my friend only lent it to me, however, I do want to buy a copy myself. But yeah, honestly, if you're a fan of Superman, then definitely worth getting. Uh, if you're a fan of anybody who I've mentioned, uh, any of the stars, then yeah, it's one for you, really. But go into it open-minded, uh, not expecting to see any previous well-known uh, people who have played Superman in the past. Uh, it's all brand new, but yeah, very worth picking up really guys anyone who's a DC uh, comics fan as well uh, check it out and um, probably uh, watch it and the Batman films before they make the sequel but really enjoyable film really guys action packed all the way through uh, cannot recommend it enough so thanks for watching my review of Man of Steel hope you like it uh, I'm gonna go give this DVD back to my friend don't forget use TobyWTD as your promo code for any we the devoted gear all links down below well guys, thanks for watching my review of Man of Steel. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching.